by now probably it's hard to find a house that doesn't have CFLs installed in one lamp or another. What many people don't know is that those light bulbs could be quite dangerous for human health. Why is that? Stick around. In the next five minutes we'll talk about that. Look at that picture. Isn't it beautiful? You have that shiny light, that really nice glass tube, the green arrows suggesting that you'll save a lot of money, energy, you'll save planet Earth. And as much as that could be true, there is something very, very important missing here. There should be some information written there. This information is regulated by governments. Now let's see what a real CFL looks like. There you go. Now I have some technical specifications. And most importantly, you have this sign here. It's rather important and very hypocritical if you ask me. Why? Because how many of you have ever thought to connect those tiny letters HG to the periodic table of chemicals and think that this is the sign of the chemical mercury? What this little HG means is caution. This product contains toxic mercury. Right? And it would have sounded much better if it just said caution mercury written with regular letters. But hey, there are commercial interests and there also is the expected reaction of the general public if you convey one message or another. So HG it is. This is the compromise between government regulations and the industry at this point. Most importantly, these slides do contain toxic mercury. Well, probably most of you know that. You should not throw them in the regular garbage. You can't dispose them in the trash. You have to follow strict procedure for their recycling. Why? Well, I guess you know that too, because they could be a threat to the environment. They would saturate the garbage, the trash, with toxic elements, and all your efforts to save the planet go to waste, but furthermore, you might actually expose the people who work in the recycling to dangerous chemicals. So, let's stop here and think a little bit. Now, this product is not safe enough to throw in the garbage. But then again, it's safe enough to put in your kid's room? Really? Why could they be dangerous? As I mentioned probably a hundred times by now, they do contain mercury. Mercury is a very toxic chemical. It can exhibit short-term and long-term effects on human health, depending on the levels of exposure. There is one thing that's very important. From a toxicological point of view, there is no such thing as a safe dose of mercury. Any mercury that's absorbed by your body will get deposited in your nervous tissue and it will stay there, it will stay in your brain until the end of your life. Now some people will argue there are certain government regulations and levels which are the maximum acceptable limits of mercury in the environment. Yes, there are. But once again, these numbers are arbitrary values. This is just what one government or another government decided that they will allow the industry to release in the environment without sanctioning them. It means nothing more. From the point of view of your health, what matters is that any dose of mercury you absorb will affect your body. Secondly, another risk that those light bulbs carry is UV exposure. The way they function is by generating ultraviolet light. This is what they do. This is how they work. Then this ultraviolet light gets transformed into visible light. We'll talk about the mechanisms of that later. What you should know, and you probably already know about UV light, is that it is mutagenic, or in other words, carcinogenic. Tests have been done, and they have been published, showing that UV light leaks from all CFL bulbs from any brand that's out there on the market. So, what should you do to decrease the risk of exposure? Once again, not to eliminate it completely, but to decrease it. Keep in mind, you will be in trouble if a CFL breaks. This is when the mercury inside that glass tube will be released in your environment. 
in your home, in your kid's room. Well, number one, should I even say that? Keep these things away from children. Kids like to play with everything, and they naturally tend to drop and break things all the time. You don't want that on your conscientiousness. Because the first person and the person who will get the highest exposure of mercury will be the child you let play with the CFL. Handle only cold light bulbs. When you're about to change one of those, turn off the light and let it stay like that for 5-10 minutes as long as it is required so that the light bulb gets cold. We tend to throw away things that burn our hands. When you place or remove one of those, always hold the ceramic base. Do not screw or unscrew them holding the glass part. It's very easy to crack, it's very easy to break. Never over tighten them in the lamps. This will save you some headaches in the future. This is important. Do not use them in desk, table, nightstand or floor lamps. Why is that? Well, those lamps, by default, are the ones that are the easiest to flip over. Therefore, the risk of breaking the CFL inside of them is much higher. And number two, now this is important. Desk lamps or nightstand lamps, by definition, they're very close to your skin. We're talking about 20-30 centimeters. Your skin exposure to UV light will be much more dramatic versus if that light was 3-4 meters away. Use them only in lamps that have a complete glass cover over the light bulb. Why is that? Well, number one, a flying object will not break the CFL. And number two, an additional layer of glass will filter most of the leaked UV light. I cannot stress how important this is. Never, ever, ever use CFLs in kids' rooms. What happens there is unpredictable. Toys fly, pillows fly. It is hard to explain a young child that these things are dangerous for their health. And if you do, probably it will take about 30 minutes for them to forget it. So just don't take that risk. I think this is the best advice I could give you. If you want to save on your electricity bill, think of the other options that are available. I mean, there are halogen lights. They also consume less power. I mean, you could certainly break them as well, but then the only risk you're taking is to cut yourself to death, and you don't have to add the risk of poisoning yourself or getting more and more mutations in your DNA. Secondly, LED lights. I mean, these are probably the most cost-efficient light sources we have on our planet. They consume virtually no electricity and pretty much last forever. The potential there is tremendous. I mean, you would not be just saving Earth, you would be saving the Moon, Mars and Jupiter altogether using those. Well, there still is a risk. There is a small trade-off there. LEDs also generously tend to emit in the UV spectrum. Finally, you still have the option of using the standard, the classical light bulbs. You might not save energy, but if you rethink the entire concept and think what's consuming more, your light bulbs or that air conditioning that's cooling a three-floor house, maybe you'll be able to reevaluate the numbers and still do something good. And number nine. If you really, really, really love those bulbs, and you really, really, really want to buy them and nothing else and none of the alternatives, well, at least use only CFLs which have a protective glass or plastic enclosure. Look at the picture in the lower right corner. You have four CFL lights. They're all the same in terms, in terms of how they function, but they're different in terms of how safe they are. Now, the one on the right is the very worst choice you can ever make. This one has unprotected glass tube containing mercury and which also has been shown to leak UV light. This is an invitation for an accident to happen. If you want to buy CFLs and use them, at least choose something that looks like 
the three lights on the left. They have an additional enclosure. It number one physically protects that glass tube and number two if it's made of glass that additional layer will further filter the leaked UV light. So this is it. You will hear a lot of arguments on that subject, mostly gravitating around the dose of mercury that you will be exposed to when you break one of those. What is undeniable is that these lights contain mercury and that mercury will accumulate in your body over the years and the more you get exposed to, the harsher the effect on your health will be. In the next video, we'll talk about what to do if a CFL light breaks in your house. Because if you use them, this will inevitably happen and you will have to be ready to take adequate action decreasing your exposure and the exposure of your family to a minimum.